It's my favorite week of the year, that time between Christmas and New Year's, when you're reflecting on everything that the year had to offer, but you're looking forward to new beginnings. And there's one drink that reminds me of this time of year, and that's eggnog. Disclaimer, I do not like the texture of eggnog. I like the taste, but there's something about the texture that's just not my favorite. And I know a lot of you out there are just like me with the texture. I found a way where you can really enjoy that eggnog flavor during this time of year without the mm, texture kind of awkwardness. And for those of you that love eggnog, you're gonna love it even more. I made a decadent eggnog cake, and I'm gonna show you how I did it next on The Sweet Spot. <music> Let's start by mixing our flour with our spices. So you're gonna start with your baking powder, your salt, and then our three spices. Cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. And just mix that all together until it's well combined. And we're gonna set that aside and add to our batter a little bit later. Now let's start by popping our butter into a mixing bowl. And I like to pre-cream my butter. You don't have to do this step. You can go right into your next ingredient. But I like to loosen the butter up and make it nice and smooth. Now it's time to start adding in your sugar. Add your brown sugar and granulated sugar. And mix this on medium until the butter and sugar are well combined. All right, now it's time to add our eggs. With the mixer on low, you're gonna add them in one at a time. You can give a little time for each one to incorporate so you get a nice, even mix. And you don't have to pre-break up the yolks, you can just pop them in their hole. All right, everything's going along. Now let's add in our vanilla. And the mixture is ready for our dry ingredients. So you're gonna add in your flour rotating with your eggnog. So I add in about half of the flour or dry ingredient mixture. Give that a nice mix. Then with the mixer on low, I add in half of the eggnog. All right, now we're gonna add in the remaining flour. And just note, you may need to scrape down the sides of your bowl in between. And the last of our eggnog. Almost there. All right, once your batter's done, you're gonna fill three nine inch cake pans. You can prepare them with parchment paper and flour so the cakes don't stick. I use a ladle just to get them even, but whatever process you wanna use to get even amounts of batter into each pan. Once you have your cake pans filled, you're gonna bake them in a 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until an inserted toothpick comes out clean. While your cakes are baking, make your simple syrup. Take your sugar, your water, and of course your bourbon and add it all to a saucepan. Put your saucepan on a medium-high heat until the ingredients come to a boil. 
Once they come to a boil, stir, and you can turn the temperature down to medium and allow it to simmer for another 10 to 15 minutes. After that time, remove the syrup from the heat and allow it to cool to room temperature. Once at room temperature, brush the simple syrup over your lukewarm cakes. You want them to be a little warm so that the cake can accept the syrup. Now it's time to make our cream cheese frosting. Add your cream cheese to a mixing bowl and using a whisk attachment, beat the cream cheese until it's nice and smooth. On medium should do. You may need to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Next, we're gonna add in our butter and you're gonna cream your cream cheese and butter together until nice and smooth. Start by adding in half of your confectioner's sugar. Because there's a lot of confectioner's sugar in this buttercream, you really want to make sure it's nice and smooth and blended. You don't want a lot of lumps, so that's why I add in half at a time. And then whip each half until it's smooth. All right, let's blend the last of the confectioner's sugar. Now that that's nice and smooth, with the mixer on low, add in your eggnog. Also, your cinnamon. And last but not least, your vanilla extract. All right, let's start building our cake. On the first layer, just taking a good amount of frosting, frost each layer, and then stack from there. Get a nice coating on each side. An easy and effective way to have fun with your cake is to take four icing bags, fill them with the cream cheese frosting, take four different tips and just create swirls, rosettes, dots, pearls, whatever you wanna do on the cake in a fun pattern. It really creates interest and texture to make your cake come alive. For additional decor, you can use like these are kisses, hugs, or you could use chocolate chips. Whatever you wanna do, have fun with this cake. You can see how effective and how it just gives a lot of texture and depth to the cake. Look at that gorgeous decadent eggnog cake. Let's cut a slice. I cannot wait to take a bite.